For the Americans with Disabilities Act, there was the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. If you have no idea what this act did for the people with disabilities, stay tuned and find out. It is Chris again and today we are going to be diving into the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 more. It is interesting after the First World War, the soldiers were coming home hurt so back in 1917 and 1918 Congress had to create two acts to help the men out. To me, this sounded like our country was really helping the people who had a disability. The first act that Congress passed was the Vocation Education Act of 1917 and the Soldiers Rehabilitation Act of 1918. These acts were to help the men out to get back in the community and to get a job. As the people who had a disability grew, the Rehabilitation Office went to Congress in 1954 to allow more people to be covered under these acts. That didn't happen. In the 1960s, the civil rights grew stronger, but the people who had a disability were not included. That was why the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 was created. Rehabilitation Act of 1973 was vetoed twice by President Nixon. The act was vetoed twice because he cited that the legislation would divert the program from its traditional objectives of vocational rehabilitation and medical treatment, and create many committees to oversee the act. They had to remove the independent living from the act, and after that President Nixon signed it into law on September 26, 1973. Like in my previous post, it was said that the Act has several sections. The sections were 501, 503, 504, 505, and 508. What was section 501? In this section, it prohibits federal agents from discriminating against qualified individuals with a disability. It also encourages businesses to hire qualified individuals and obliges these businesses to offer employment advancement to the individuals whose work meets the necessary requirements. What was Section 503? This is similar to the Section 501, but it is to deal with hiring, placement, and advancement of people with disabilities. It includes federal <coughs> contractors and subcontractors. In 2013, they published a final rule that makes changes to this section of the Rehab Act. The new rule sets a utilization goal which basically means that all workforces and job categories should aim to have at least 7% of their employee population be individuals with a disability, if in fact they are all qualified for their respective positions. This also includes contractors and subcontractors. What is Section 504? This section was not a part of the Act when it was signed. It was to make sure that there were reasonable accommodations for employees with disabilities, program accessibility, effective communication with people who have hearing and vision disabilities, and accessible new construction and alterations. Each federal agency has its own section of this section. The 504 of the Department of Health and Human Services makes sure that doctor offices and clinics are accessible. The United States Department of Education makes sure that students with disabilities receive the kind of education services to be successful in school. This section caused a lot of fuss around the United States because the lawmakers were not making any headway in trying to pass this section of the Act. People with disabilities were doing sit-ins around the country for days. After several weeks of having sit-ins around the country, the new Secretary of State Joseph Caliano signed the section to be implemented into law. There is a good video tells you more about what happened.
What is section 505? This section goes with section 501. It seems to deal with governing remedies and the attorney's fees. What is section 508? This section made sure that federal electronic and information technology to be accessible for people with disabilities. An accessible information technology is one that can be operated in many ways and does not rely on a single sense or ability of the user. The Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and the other acts really helped the people with disabilities to be included in society. But there is a lot of work to be done to level the playing field so that people with disabilities to have the same opportunities as the rest of the people. At Disability Awareness, we try to give useful information to people with disabilities and educate society. If you like this video and aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Here at Disability Awareness, we do two videos per week on Tuesday and one on Friday. So we will see you on Tuesday. It's Chris signing off.